Yeah! yeah! There we go! For all you, everybody thought we were f***ing lying out there. We ain't lying! Oh! 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 No, no, no! Stop! This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is why you showed up, ladies and gentlemen. Setting a one right there. This is amazing. And everyone's bracket is <laughs> Live from the shore, baby! First of all, thank you to everyone who's here. A lot of you donated money to Eagles Autism Foundation. Everyone's here to support the reason we're here, which is the Eagles Autism Foundation, as well as partake in one of the greatest events we've had the privilege of putting on, probably the greatest to this date, Not which right is now. the New Heights Beer Bowl, which is about to happen live, right in front of this live audience. Um, Welcome to Sea Isle. New Heights is officially in Sea Isle. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, so, beer, sports. Wings, beer, sports. Aisha, hey, we got it all. <laughs> Caffeine, beer, chicken wings. What else do you need? Yeah, we got a great episode coming up. We're going to have some incredible guests. Like we just said, we have the official New Heights Beer Bowl. All of the contestants are out back. You guys are in for a show. We have some amazing fans, the 92 percenters, and the, uh, the, the guys and women that... Uh, applied to get into this. We have an incredible uh, uh, crew coming They're out here. They're all fucking nuts. They're fired up. They're nuts. I'll tell you, it's I a rowdy make, group out there. I wouldn't make direct eye contact with any of them, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, we got $50,000 on, on the line here, so this is uh, we got the right group for that amount of money. But first, as always, new news. New news. What all right. What like, we like we said, this is a special episode. We're here in Seattle City. The world famous Ocean Drive Bar. This world is the, famous. This is the third. <laughs> this is the third year the Ocean Drive has been kind enough to lend their facilities, their employees, uh, their money to this event, and we cannot thank them enough. I re still remember the first time I came to Seattle. I was a third year or a second year player going in my third year. I tore my ACL, and a good uh, friend of mine, with trainer Joe. Appella. There was a polar bear plunge in Seattle City, and he said, you know, I think it'd be a good idea if we go there and get some rehab. You know, jump in the ocean, ice the knee. And we did that for all of 45 seconds and then went straight to the ocean drive. And I had one of the most fun experiences of my life, filled with virality, um, just life, fun, energy, and I knew that this was a place that I wanted to be and come back to. Man. I'll and it just so happens, hey. Dude. This place is magical. It, it, has is. A, it has a real special way of taking your memories and throwing them <laughs> in the ocean right down the street. And then just like all everybody that here that's sober, that works here, just reminds you of them that's every right, single time. That's like, right, that's hey, right. Hey, Travis, we put you in a cop car to go home last night. I was like, oh, did that? Is oh, that, that, that was, man, this place is awesome, man. <laughs> I guess to bring back up that um, polar bear plunge, all of the benefits of polar bear plunge used to go towards autism awareness, autism causes. So the fight to raise awareness for autism predates us putting this event on in this city the establishments mike seafood uh the od a lot of the businesses around here as well as the inhabitants have been dedicated to this cause for a long time so we just want to make sure that we announce our appreciation and uh pay homage to the fact that this uh has been going on a lot longer than before we got here and that's credit to sea isle and the philadelphia community right there baby um this is the biggest year yet. We've already raised a significant amount of funds. I would be lying to you if I said the exact number. Ryan, do you know what, what's the exact number before we've even started? 150 before we started. So Damn. before we even started, we've already matched the previous two years all together, I think, pretty much. So it's, it's a really good start. And like we just said, it's just a start. We can't wait to get this day under, uh, underway. And uh, we want to thank all of the 92%ers out there who aren't here, who donated. I mean, it's been an outpouring of support 
and uh, you guys have no idea how much and how far your dollar goes. So thank you so much for supporting Eagles Autism and also uh, watching the show every week because right uh, this wouldn't be possible without you guys. <laughs> All righty, we're going to bring on our first guest. She is the, I don't, is it CEO? I don't even know like what the official title is. The, the, the director boss. of Eagles Autism Foundation, Mrs. Ryan Hammond. Ryan! Hugs, hugs. Hugs, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Can never miss an opportunity for a hug. So obviously we're, this whole event is happening to raise money for Eagles Autism Foundation. I have been fortunate enough to watch uh, the birth of Eagles Autism Foundation in my tenure with the Eagles yes. and uh, bringing you on board. Um, I don't know, do you want to take a few minutes to just tell everyone what Eagles Autism Foundation is, what it does? Why we're really here, not the podcast? Yes, yes yeah, not the beer sure. board. We're here to raise money, honestly. This is just our sideshow. So <laughs> actually, the, the foundation really started with the vision of team owner Jeffrey Laurie, his personal connection to autism. His family has supported autism in the tune of $100 million they've invested in research. He decided it was time to be a voice for the one and now 36 families affected. So we launched Eagles Autism Challenge that first year. We recognized the passion of Eagles everywhere. I think today is a testament to that. Your response to this event has been incredible. And you know, it was a goal to kind of change the future of the field, to change families' lives. Every single dollar we raise is donated into the community and you know, Howie and I both report to Jeffrey, so we have the same boss. And Jeffrey <laughs> basically gives us the same marching orders. It's really to look at the rigor of how to make sure that we're thinking about the future and really driving that innovation, that change, and kind of winning the game. So we bring in scientists from all over the country. Everything is applied in. There's not one dollar that's given without intention and really thoughtfulness. We actually have people that have to give us progress reports. So if you're walking down the street and you tell me you donated in 2018, 2019, I can tell you what project we funded and what the outcome of that project. So philanthropy is a competitive space. We made sure that just like we are in the field, we're kind of taking it to that next level. And and we could not be here without, obviously, Jason and Travis's leadership today. So, you know, their economic impact, Jason has probably raised, you know, himself about a million dollars through all of his efforts. And, yeah. And I mean, it doesn't hurt that he let his kid brother tag along and help for the cause. Yeah! That's been, that's been tagging along my whole life. I'm, like, I'm, just, I'm just on the Jason Kelsey ride. <laughs> If you can't tell already, Ryan's a rock star. She's taken Eagles Autism Foundation in a short amount of time to incredible new heights. <laughs> All right, now. $23 um, million dollars in counting. <laughs> $23 million since 2018, guys. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is our third year doing this event, and it all started because Ryan and I were on the beach, mm -hmm. and she said, hey, why don't we do a, a guest bartending at DOD? And within, I'm not kidding, I'm not making this up, three days, yes. she planned an entire event and uh, again, the community is so supportive here. We had a unbelievable turnout the first year. Um, I don't know, what made you think that this would work out so well? Honestly, I think it was being with Jason Kelsey in Seattle City, and I think it was the 500th photo of the day where I was like, Jason, can we ask for a donation? I'm, I'm thinking maybe like he puts a QR code on the back of his phone when he walks around town and he takes photos with everyone. But I was like, we really can tap into the enthusiasm here and change that into philanthropy. And you know, the old OD is my old stomping grounds. We were reminiscing about kegs and eggs here a while ago, yeah. and uh, you know, know the bartender still. And I made a phone call the next day. Mike Ferry, fur dog, came to my house with a legal pad pencil and donuts for my three daughters and three <laughs> days later we launched team 62 fundraising we raised fifty thousand dollars without any expectation of what it could be and to think about where we are three years later is just incredible when we first said that we wanted to do our podcast here and do a beer bowl what was your first uh reaction Let's to that go! How can um, you say no to that? <laughs> right? Are there any uh, other events coming up that, uh, that people can support? So we're kind of ending our fiscal year, our, our year-long effort of fundraising, but we go right back. August 6th is our public practice. It'll be your first chance to see the this year's Eagles team at Lincoln Financial Field. $10 tickets, every dollar benefits the foundation. We'll then roll into our Radiothon, and you cannot... 
you know, cross paths with the Eagles without an opportunity to raise, you know, money. And I will say, you know, if you are watching any Eagles game, if you all notice, we have Eagles Autism Foundation in the end zone. That this year was the number one signage asset in the NFL. So that's pretty prime real estate. Yeah. And now if, you, if you're at home, you're playing Madden, you're playing and you see Eagles Autism Foundation in the end zone. So this is about being synonymous, making sure that everything we do Eagles related, there's a tie-in and an opportunity for you to join us in a meaningful way and support this cause. Go Birds! Go Birds! thank you so much for putting this whole thing together. We're looking forward to having an outstanding event here with the podcast and the guest bartending later. Can't thank you enough for putting this Cannot all together. thank you enough. I really appreciate you coming to my fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody give it up for Ryan. It's time! Now. Are you ready? For your main event. That's right. It is time for the first round of the New Heights Beer Bowl 2023. It's Here's here. how it's going to work. We've selected 16 teams. There's a bracket somewhere. So we have selected 16 teams from over 100 uh, contestants that uh, applied. 200? 200 contestants. God damn. Damn. All right. You that's two yeah. every two. 400. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. 16, it's a lot. All right. Four. We narrowed it down to 16 teams to uh, compete for the pinnacle of drinking games in Seattle City, New Jersey, the New Heights Beer Bowl. We have an incredible trophy. We have $50,000 cash. Woo! With my baby. Where is my dad? My dad ass? has it. Did he run with the cash? Did he hit the highway? Dad, you're supposed to be up here. Dad, you have to have. You're supposed to be up here, the Dad. Briefcase. Oh, there he is. There I'm he telling is. you. And this is how a Kelsey holds a briefcase right here. This is a, you know. Yeah. yeah. Papa Kelsey. Big head. Hey, who enjoyed the uh, the episodes having my, my dad and my mom oh, on? Oh, my gosh. Everybody enjoyed those? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll ride around and just turn that thing on and just listen to this guy talk right there. So, as we said, this is a 16-team tournament single elimination per round. So we're going to go from 16 to 8 to 4 and then have the championship matchup between two teams to win the first ever New Heights Trophy, <laughs> which is not complete yet, to be honest with you, but we have a portion of it that I think you'll be excited about. But we also have $50,000 cash in this briefcase. Cash. Show it to a pop! Yeah! Show him! Come this on, This is now. real. This is real. We got to get the visual. That That's the whole point of having the cash. This is like Pulp Fiction right here. Yeah! yeah. For all you, everybody thought we were fucking lying out there. We ain't lying. Where's the I know handcuffs? You guys were like, yeah, it's a briefcase. There's no cash in it. Where's the handcuff? It was supposed to be handcuffed. There's supposed to be furry handcuffs. This isn't secure. This is. There's police outside. Just borrow a handcuff. No, no, no. Dad's never lost anything. Mom was supposed to have the key so that you couldn't lose this. I showed up. I got the briefcase. What if There's, Chief Saholic is in the audience? Off. Chief Saholic is in the audience. You might steal that from him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, it just got real as fuck. Yeah. So oh, shit. nobody knows where he's at. Nobody does. This is a yeah. bank robber. He's yeah. on the run. Well, he's a Chiefs fan too. If he's here, he's probably a Travis Kelsey fan. All right, we got to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thanks okay. for showing everybody the cash. No, we're we're okay. Do you want to say anything? No. You want to say anything to the teams or anything? What do I want? You want to say anything to the competitors did you, did you or anything? See, did you good see, luck. Did... Good luck. Whoever wins it, I got it for you. All right, now. <laughs> That's good enough. All right. See you later, Dad. We'll see you in a little bit. So we are in the process. Should we reveal what our plans are? No? Save that. Save the So plans. we have a much Save bigger plan. plan for our trophy. Unfortunately, making a cast uh, trophy out of bronze and gold takes a time it takes it does, a little you bit can't of time. just like order that but we were able to get a 24 karat solid this, uh, gold trophy for uh, for whoever wins Ooh, it is the new heights baby. golden solo Ooh, cup baby. 32 ounce see 24 karat gold see this oh thing. yeah Ooh, don't get it don't nice. get your fingerprints too see, much on it i can they see my just reflection in this motherfucker they just polished it I like it. I like it a lot. I'll tell you what, this is about as this said this thirty two is about what as big ounce? as the uh the chug you just did in the, <laughs> Well that was a thirty two ounce uh, stein, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've seen I've seen Jason chug a beer before. I've never seen him that jacked up to chug a thirty two ounce beer in my life. And you pay for it. I mean it's live. 
You know how it goes. You're a competitor. You, you get it's into the it. the number one rule. Anybody that's out here that's going to chug, the number one rule is you can't tense up. And the first thing you were doing over there was like you were about to get under a squat bar. <laughs> Like you were about to lift 600 pounds, but you you felt your sternum about to explode because of the air bubble. Yeah, you made had. it happen. You did. You forced it to happen. Force it down. Sometimes I'll the beer doesn't want to go down. Slitter bomb or whatever the uh, guy's name was. Schlitz? <laughs> Schlitzy? Seltzer. James there Seltzer. Seltzer. <laughs> Seltzer, man. That dude. It looked, like he, was, it looked like he was drinking out of a straw compared to what you were doing, dude. Hey. It was a definitely it was a hefty chug. Me and, me and Jimmy are going to have to do another one with a more life-sized uh, pint. But uh, it was what it was it? good. There, it's a different strategy. That's a marathon chug, as opposed there is to some like a hundred meter dash. Thing. Chug. All right, whatever. We got our first round coming up. The first round is going to be a skill based game. It's the uh, time and true classic flip cup. Flip cup, hey! baby. Okay. Here's how it's going to work. Each team has members of two people each. Each member is going to have to flip and drink four cups. So there's gonna be eight cups flipped all together. They're not full completely of alcohol. We're, no, we're they are this. completely full. They're not completely full. They're, they're the decent full. They're it's probably full. about two beers. We need everyone blacked out. Uh, this is the Ocean Drive, ladies and gentlemen. This is not the, <laughs> we're not anywhere else. We're gonna have our referee for this evening, Mr. Mike Ferry, long time Ocean Drive yeah. employee for dog. Fucking legend. Ferdinand, Fer Fer how long have you been here? My 30th summer. 30th summer. Woo! How about that? Oh my gosh. Ferdog, I can't tell you how much of a pleasure it is to do this for a third year with you. You bring the energy, make all this happen. So excited to do this again. Are you excited first time as an official at a beer bowl? I am thrilled to be the official <laughs> official. I did say yes to you out back over yeah. the other morning weekend yeah. and then when we were meeting on Sunday and then I heard of all these legal yeah. scenarios yeah. it's a lot of pressure on me we, right we'll now we'll take the fall for it okay. don't worry about it that's You're what gonna... I'm thinking I can't get sued for $50,000 we, right? we, we got two guys that, you got two guys to blame right here right? <laughs> I need some backing you're the official every week at this bar though you're the one that's like calling the shots helping everybody get situated I mean it's a team effort but I feel like you're always the official at DOD so it was only right absolutely and I just want to thank <laughs> All the staff that we have here yes. at this establishment over yeah. at Pat's yeah. Green. Yeah. All the fans and patrons over the years. And again, as Ryan was mentioned, you know, it started many, many years ago for me. Yeah. Um, great place to be part of. Great town. Family atmosphere, as yeah. evident by the two of you being here today. Parents involved. Kylie's parents and family. And that's really what Seattle City is all about. We are indeed a family-oriented town. And it's a great city to be part of. Yes. It's a beautiful place, baby. Well, with that said, let's get to it. Let's get it out. Let the first let's round go. commence. Man, I don't think we're either one of us. Or, you just said national anthem. We didn't think, we, yeah. Does anybody feel comfortable enough singing the national anthem? Does the 92 percent want to do it? Who's a good singer? Who wants to tee this off? Don't be shy. Front, front and center. All right. Steal the show. Mercy, you got to introduce yourself. What's your name? Hi, I'm Andrea Barreto. All right. Right now. Go Birds. Go Birds. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, say does that star-spangled
is probably the favorites to win this entire show. No offense to the rest of the competitors. How the fuck did they even get, become the favorites? Well, they you smashed a beer can over their head. They ripped the top of a beer can off. They did a tornado chug. They did a Stone Cold Steve Austin chug. They did a shotgun chug. Yeah, well. But they did not demonstrate any skill-based games That's in what their I'm saying. So we know they can chug, but can they flip? But from the brothers that said, if you want the heat, we're going to bring the heat. <laughs> Our first team in the New Heights Beer Bowl for the first round is Team Denno! They look like a fucking can of beer when they walk in. God damn it. I see why you say they're the favorites. Our second team is a, 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 a reminiscent of a show that I think everybody can look back fondly Probably and never say. Saw. This is one of the worst shows I ever watched. <laughs> the next team in this New Heights Beer Bowl, catching Kelsey OnlyFans! <laughs> Catching Kelsey had an OnlyFans. Yeah. And they're off. Two clean flips right from Two the get go. Oh, 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 Team Denim. Oh, no. Oh, no, Team Denim. Team Denim. Oh, no, Team Denim. Oh, no, Team Denim. Oh, no, Team Denim. Oh, Team Denim. Oh, Team You want to explain yourselves? I mean, I put all my money on you guys. It was, it was so impressive. There's not much to explain. We can't flip for shit. <laughs> all right. Well, I love the outfits. I love the guts. I love the vibe. Hey, man, I love, I love some dudes who just let that Yeti show. You know what I'm saying? They just let that. Holy cow, They just man. let the fur out. That's more than a Yeti. <laughs> What's hairier than a Yeti? No, they don't want to see the Yeti. Don't, don't bring that out. Nobody they don't does. Hey, dude, ask him for it. No, 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 no. <laughs> That was an electric first round or first uh, first game here. And let's uh, let's introduce the next two. Might be the only Kansas City Chiefs representation here. <laughs> you hear that, boys? Gotta love a good hostile environment for the rodeo boozers. I'll tell you what, coming in with a solid showing. Introducing our uh, who they're going to be going up against. We got some assholes. We got Andy's assholes. Marissa and Chris guys. Oh, yeah. The pillows, the pillows have to stay. No, those are, that's his belly. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Quick start two, for Rodeo. Two, two solid starts. And he's asked for answers right away. That boy won't find out there. That, 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 that Texas Gunslinger right there, boy. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. The Rodeo Boozers. Man, I'll tell you what, it didn't look too great for you guys, but that's how you go. You know, that's that's like being down 10 and playing. That was crazy, man. We had a lot of ups and downs in that one right there. That was, yeah, I mean, that was a great Marissa showing for everybody. Right for a second, thought she was going to pull it out. Rodeo Boozers, I next think, round, baby. We're yeah. holding it down, baby. Enemy territory. Everybody, boo, is it getting out of here? Boo. What was the strategy there? I think it was clear that you thought, Chris, you should be at the end as the anchor. Three perfect flips, just couldn't get to that fourth cup. What, uh, what are you going to say? Milliseconds away. <laughs> <laughs> Does not break character, even Does in the face of elimination. Character. Well, you know, we had a couple burgers last night. <laughs> we just maybe... Didn't have enough room for it today. <laughs> Injuries. I need more beer. <laughs> Time's yours. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause. Introducing to the new Heights Beer Bowl, the Greenman. Yeah. Their contestants, a couple parents ready to cut it fucking loose. Parents' night out. We got Sean and Alex Gibbons. 
The married couple, let's go. Okay, and they're off. A nice, a nice fresh start. Ooh. He's rooming out. Oh, he's got a chance. Oh, my God, my God. Let's get it. Where the fuck are the kids at? Not our problem. No, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Not our problem. <laughs> Our next contestant in the first round is Always Sunny uh, competitors, Birds of War! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, baby. Alrighty, and the next guest, they're competitors in this round. These outfits are fantastic. Fucking electric. We have Team Fire and Ice! show is on. And Jimmy McElroy, where are we at right now? It seems see like they're the off feathers. to a slow start. I haven't seen anything. I can't see All through the feathers. All I've seen is real, real. Birds of War back. All right. Fire and Ice on to the oh, second. Fire Round of the ice. ankle leg. Jimmy McElroy. Connects. Oh. These legs. Hold on. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Down to two cups, no, down to one cup. Oh, 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 oh. A close but electric finish. A class act as they shake hands. Fire and ice, congratulations. You guys are moving on to the next round, baby. Our next competitor, we're not really going to say the full name. We think that you guys will get it the moment they come out. It's Life Team size. BDN. That's a life-size image right there. All right, moving on to the next contestant. Coming to the table, we have the Christmas Specials. Yeah! Specialist. The Specialist. I'm sorry, the Christmas Specialist. Rose and Mary straight out of the Bible. Here the there ladies go. come. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Let's keep this fucking show on the road, baby. Introducing our next contenders. I really don't know what to say about these guys other than they are two years of varsity. Hey! You guys might remember Chomp from his viral video that went live all over WIP. Chomp and Chooch. This is a great matchup. This is, Both of this these is an electrifying match. I'm excited about this one. We have Team Savage American Eagle! This is gonna be a round for the ages. Ferno, take this thing over, baby. Oh, boys, we're on a good, clean fight. Good, clean fight here, boys. Chomp off to a quick start. He's clearly been practicing. Chomp, yeah, Chomp is, I mean, I like, I like his technique, too. Oh, that's a good pass off to Vince Papali. Chomp and Chooch off to a quick one. Chooch, Chooch running away with it. Chomp getting the high knees going over here. Chooch, we got some shoving shit. Congratulations. We'll see you guys next we'll round. We'll see you guys next round. One of our favorite team names. I couldn't stop fucking laughing when I saw the uh, the name. You want me to hit it? Introducing the Hebrews. The Hebrews, ironically, the Jewish men, Mark Goldberg. Mark Goldberg and, and Corey Mazur. And the next uh, competitor, we have uh, somebody that I can definitely identify with pretty heavily. We have Team Thirsty Dan! Check out these outfits! Hey, that guy's got the same shoes as I do! These guys are dressing as Jason Kelsey right now. <laughs> we got the dads the and the Hebrews. Right. Let's see how this one shapes up. Oh, oh, they're neck is... and neck to start off. Oh, the Hebrews! Oh, the Hebrews. Off the Goldberg! Calm yourself, Thirsty Dads! Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! <laughs> Alright, we got our last matchup of 
the first round. This next team, I think you're going to know the name pretty well. They did put an addendum at the end, um, which I feel comfortable saying because they wrote it. We have Team Lenny Dykstra, your local lesbians. Here we go. These ladies are local. You guys are going up against um, some of my favorite heroes. A gym class hero is coming to the table. That's right. Let's see how short these shorts are. Oh god, oh god, oh god. They are moving quick. Ooh, Don't panic. Oh, I gotta feel you panicking. Jim Cross heroes are catching oh, up. Oh, Thanks for their last cup. Oh, the last cup. No bouncing. Let the ball go. No bouncing. Let's see if they can. Oh! oh he's on the rim. Rip shot. Rip shot. All right, gym class heroes. Watch that elbow, cuz. Watch that elbow, cuz. Oh. It's an air ball. That's it's an air ball. It's not a good start. We, we... Oh! Wait, shut me the fuck up. That's what I'm talking about. Here it comes. If you miss this, this is it. coming at you and we got some fun interviews coming up you don't want to miss this one we got a few uh, philadelphia favorites our next partner is ag1 Ooh. the daily foundational nutritional supplement that supports whole body health you might not believe this but i actually take ag1 every day why did you start taking ag1 jason i gave ag1 a try because as an nfl player i needed a single solution that supports my entire body and covers my nutritional basis every day wait so if a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D. Hey! Get you some of that vitamin D, dog. And Can't you can get, get five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase, man. Go to drinkag1.com slash new heights. That's drinkag1.com slash new heights. Check it out. Vitamin D. Mm, travel packs. We also need to shout out one of our sponsors that you probably see us drinking every show, and that's Accelerator Active Energy. Ah, that Rocket Pop is so goddamn good. Yeah, It'll make baby. you just look at the can and say, no fucking way this has zero sugar. So if you've been looking for something with zero sugar, check. That gives you sustained energy, check. Also gets the metabolism going, check. And gives you the enhanced focus that you need to record a podcast or just be a successful human being and attack your fucking day well accelerator active energy drink is what you need fueled right. by nature jason what uh, what flavor you got over there what's your favorite flavor this one's starberry Ooh. i like i like them all berry lemonade kiwi <laughs> lime Ooh. can't go wrong baby accelerator active energy available nationwide at target meyer and sheets we're gonna get some interviews with some special guests our first guest, we decided, you know, this is a beer bowl. Who do I know that might be one of the best beer drinkers I know? Fucking Our tank. next guest was a 2020 unanimous All-American, a Remington Trophy Award winning center for the Alabama Roll Tide. Alabama. College football national champion for the Crimson Tide. And this season he was named to his first Pro Bowl. Our next <laughs> guest is starting left guard for the Philadelphia Eagles, Landon Dickerson. You look like you're ready to compete, brother. Oh, yeah. I thought that was what I was here for. <laughs> yeah, but that yeah thing so right make sure you're there. talking into that. Hello? In your oh, nice there we, there southern we Carolina accent. When Jason, yes, sir, I will do that. 
<laughs> more Charleston. I'm Charleston. Do that. You're electric right now. I just want to let you know you look yeah, he's fucking fitting. great. He, I mean, he's an honorary and team. You, dental. And you got the team issued fucking That's what sneaks I got on. The, I got you the are ready to go shoes on. I'm half to gassers go. right I, now. I was here to compete. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got storage for the beer right here. You know what I'm saying? I got Dude. my hats in here. This is ready to go. <laughs> Our next guest that we're going to have up here on the panel is probably the greatest position coach in all of football. He is a two-time college football national champion winning coach. He's the second longest tenured coordinator in the NFL. He's coached six linemen to 20 Pro Bowl seasons. Damn. This will be his 11th season as the offensive line coach with Damn. the Philadelphia Eagles. 92%, please welcome offensive line coach, Stalin University teacher, Jeff Stalin. Come on, up here. Got the Come on up here, big guy. Dogs. Are you allowed to wear that? Isn't that a competitor with the with, with the Crimson Tide? We're going to talk about that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there might not be a guy more represented than the Eagles culture and the, how the Eagles play fucking football than Jeff Stalin right here, baby. Hard nosed physical guys. And he's had the best group in the, in the league for a fucking, what, about a decade now? Jesus. Well, I can't thank both of you guys for coming uh, enough. We're going to talk some offensive line, like everybody wants to hear. Um, All right. I'll ask Stout first. Stout, we saw an amazing jump from Landon this year. What do you think was the biggest improvement in his game from year one to year two? Well, first of all, when I said that to the media, you guys gave me the business. You guys. Well, did. no, we just oh, like Oh, yeah, <laughs> that means you're the kiss of the... Most approved is usually not something you want to win. Saw, that's, you got to start from pretty long, long. Here, Here's the deal. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> you know, you already know the answer to this. Yeah. He played with length. He played longer. Uh, he played lower. He played yeah. quicker. He changed direction better. Uh, all those things were factors for his improvement. Yeah. What do you? What was the biggest difference from year one to year two for you? Honestly, you know. Coming off an knee injury, I think uh, I got a lot That was more. difficult? It was a little difficult. Um, yeah, you know, just kind of hopping right in there, trying to first couple games fill the shoes of Brandon Brooks. Yeah. Big, phenomenal player. Uh, very big shoes, even though I wear a size 15. Uh, so, <laughs> but, I mean, coming in and, you know, getting coached by, you know, Stoutland, Kels, Lane, Brandon Brooks, Isaac, you know, all these guys just helping me out. Yeah, I really, I think that's what helped me make the jump is them, you know, working with me and telling me how I could improve my game. You're the second round pick for the Philadelphia Eagles. I guess three years ago now, which is... Yeah, going on three. What, did you know you were coming to Philly? I did not. Um, did you know he was coming to Philly? I mean, there's never 100%, yeah. but we were very strong on that option. Yeah. He liked what he saw. Did cat. you? What did you think of, of Stout when you first met him pre-draft? Uh, I mean, first, first interaction with the virtual meetings, it was still during COVID. Oh, yeah, COVID, um, yeah. Ooh. Definitely interesting to have him on Zoom. Uh, he's a very, a, a very vocal guy. And, <laughs> and also, uh, I feel like there was times when we're on the Zoom meeting and he would point to things on the, uh, like on the projector there, but mm -hmm. I couldn't see anything. I just saw him. Yeah. So he would be yelling at me and telling me to do this, and all I saw was the background of nobody in a chair and just the empty seats. So, uh, definitely some very interesting meetings. I came out of those meetings feeling pretty stupid, honestly. I, mean, I don't think I answered one question right, even when it was, you know, my opinion, but it's all right. I think you did a few things right, Landon. Yeah, it's all right. I feel it, like, but, you know, you get comfortable with it and, you know, understanding how he is now as a coach. And, you know, I've come to really appreciate what he does and, you know, I really love him now. So. Yeah. We've drafted Landon Dickerson, then Cam Jurgens, now Tyler Steen. What are you looking for in a potential draft pick, Stel? What are the the critical factors, as you would call them? Or yeah, you and I have sat and actually watched. I know. Well, we got to tell these. I know that. But here, 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 here's here's the deal, okay? Because I don't have time. Neither do you. Here's the bottom line: When we finish watching a film, you close your eyes and you say, "What's unusual about this player?" If the player's not really an unusual player, I'm done. Move to the next guy. Yeah. That guy's got to have something that's wow. Some juice stands man. out. Yeah. Like wow. Whether he's a giant and moves around pretty good for a really big giant guy. Why are you looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Because there's there's all kinds of unusual. Yes, right. There's there's there's, there's t all types of things that can become, you know, unusual. But we do have a, a criteria. We have a, a list of critical factors that are like the Bible, and we go off of that. And I really don't deviate from that. I'll be honest with you. I I, I feel very strong about that. Is there anything when you close your eyes that I know you didn't draft Jason, but when you close your eyes, you were like. Man, that guy's special right there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when you're looking at, see, when you do the start, the critical factors, you start with the size. That's the number one. It starts with the size, it goes to, you know, and then it goes on and on and on. Okay, so when you find a guy that's, that falls into that margin of, you know, like right at the line, okay, what else does that player have? Well, the foot and body quickness and the uh, ability to change direction and the the production in space is off the chart. It's not even close, it's like crazy. And so there's your unusual Yeah. Life. No, I know, dude. I've, I've been flanking this motherfucker my entire <laughs> life. I know, I know he's as, as athletic as anyone I've ever gone up against. Did he really play quarterback in high school? Yeah, he played one game. They lost by about 50. <laughs> it did not go well. And I think he was out by half time. I didn't even make it to halftime. Yeah, I was starting middle linebacker quarterback. It was a shitty weather game, too. It, wasn't, yeah, it was not it wasn't. a shitty weather. It was beautiful it was, weather. It was so muddy. <laughs> you guys would have fucked. You guys would have quit at halftime anyway. I threw weather. two passes, one incomplete, one interception. Then I decided to run the ball every single snap. And then uh, I quickly exited the game because I was, I was the, uh, dog tired. I was, the, I was the water boy watching that game. Like, <laughs> I, was fucking, I was done handing out water for that one. H2O. Landon, you got drafted to Philadelphia. What have you learned about Philadelphia? The one thing I've learned is that the fans absolutely love any team in Philly. Yeah. I honestly could not imagine a better place to be. I mean, you know, this city puts their heart and soul into everything that we do, especially the Eagles. and. You know, I can think of 31 worse places to be, so I'm so glad I'm here. Let me ask you this. Who's a more insane fan base, Eagles fans or the Tide? Crimson Tide. Who do you think? Ooh. Ooh. That, that, that could be tough. I think. <laughs> know where you're at. Well, Read now, the room. Now, now, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, down south, it's a little different. They, they have more of a filter on it. The thing I love, Philly fans have no filter. There's no limit. They just keep going. <laughs> Stout, you've, been, you've coached in Alabama and obviously in Philadelphia for a long time. What, what is it like from a coach, from like a fan it's base the same. perspective? Yeah, the passion. The passion, the expectation, the win. It's like Uncle Vinny. You know, everyone has the Uncle Vinny. In <laughs> oh, straight here comes Uncle I do Vinny. I not have an Uncle Vinny. <laughs> yeah, Uncle because Vinny's <laughs> coming. Hold on to your ass. It's like that but with Philly. I mean, you could, you're going to get it. All, you get, all I get to say is this. If you give everything you have as an athlete, as a coach, the city's going to love you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the city's going to love you. No question. Coach, you got you got a lot of personalities in that old line room. You are you you got all the freaking studs in the world, but you got a lot of personalities. How do you keep all of that under wraps? I know it's got to be challenging having a guy like Jason in the middle of all that fucking chaos. But you got some big time personalities, big time players. How as a coach, how do you keep that controlled and still get the best out of your guys? Hold on a second. You're asking me this question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you genuinely. <laughs> As Wyatt would say, you're sneaky. Yeah! <laughs> I'm naughty, we don't, we I'm naughty don't, too, coach. I'm naughty we don't, too. We don't keep it under wraps. I'll be honest with you. We really don't. We have so much fun in that room, and we let the guys be who they are. And I love it. What happens is when, when the guys are who, like, it's, I'm being honest with you, the meeting, the O-line meetings are the fun, that's the best part of my day. We have so much fun in there and guys can be themselves and they help build plan and they, they argue or they, 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 they actually help each other quite a bit. As Landon would say, uh, Brooks, Isaac, those, these guys go, I mean, they love each other. They go uh, above and beyond to stop, we'll stop a meeting. Guy will get up, Jason will get up and explain. Just see the passion in his face, explaining to Cam Jurgens 
how it is doing and what he's doing and why he's doing it and what the defender is seeing. See, that's where I think that, you know, uh, in, the, in this business, everyone says, and you come from one of the best, obviously, stay ahead of the game, don't let the game get by you. Yeah. Well, my vision of that or my philosophy on that is not necessarily, we don't need to change plays or run different plays. This play's been around forever. Yeah. It's the presentation of the play. Maybe how you block the play. Maybe what you see the defense is looking at, and we can use that to our advantage. That's where these guys are so awesome. That's awesome. Going back to what you said, the best part of your day is meetings and not spending time with your wife and kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> he made hey, easy fun. in the football building. He easy. Made, he was just <laughs> talking in the building. No, I don't get during, okay. the, during the season. <laughs> we don't see our families. I don't see my family. They're there, but we don't. We get home. We, I don't see my house in the in the light. But uh, my wife and my daughter Maddie are here uh, today, and, and yeah, support us. No, there's, there, you can tell there's no mistake on what's going on in that building and what you guys got going in that old line room, man. Landon, what you're wearing right now, are you a pregame fit guy or are you a, a dress-up guy? Which What are you, dress-up or dress-as? You're dressed as a I, farmer right now, right? Yes, the, these are my Sunday overalls. Very nice, very clean. <laughs> very uh, what I'd wear to the family dinner. So, Looks so fancy. Uh, you know, dress to impress day, that's what I thought this was. Um, Thank you, I appreciate that. But uh, I'm more of a uh, dress as I am kind of guy. A lot of times I roll up in a t-shirt and shorts and some flip flops or tennis shoes for a game. Granted, sometimes away games a little different. Super Bowl was different. I dressed up for that. But, yeah, you know, I, it's a big one. I mean, I don't, it's a classy guy right it's there. Pretty big. Um, granted, I, I don't feel like spending the time to, you know take the suit there, make sure to iron everything out just to walk the 75 feet from where I park into the building. I mean, it's it's a lot to do, honestly. And I mean, <laughs> you got other things to fucking focus yeah. on. I'm with you, Landon. And also, too, you know, it's, I'm not, clothes aren't going to make this much prettier, so I've just accepted that. <laughs> You're fucking beautiful, Landon. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's get to the first impressions of Jason, though. When they tell me, tell me, let's fucking tell everybody first impressions. Jason was fucking nuts when you first met him, right? He was a little bit nuts. So, uh, <laughs> well, and the thing was, is when I came in, you know, I was still on the uh, PUP list, and I came in, and then when uh, Brooks got hurt, I, I went in at right guard for a couple games. I'm sure he was not happy about that at all. Probably spent a lot of time telling me what to do, and the thing I remember most is. I believe it was a Raiders game. It was, I think, a Wednesday practice. Yeah, I already know where you're going with this. Yeah, story. and um, I remember I was I was trying to get this block down. Obviously, I had combination block. Yeah, I hadn't practiced a whole lot with Jason, and I just remember I did something very wrong. He did not like it, and he just motherfucked me for a good like minute straight, <laughs> and just told me how fucking terrible I was, how I fucked everything up. And if I did it again, he didn't want to play. I, and, I remember yeah. it being a lot more encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember at that point I was like, all right, let's not fuck up anything else anymore. <laughs> and that was my ultimate goal. As long as he's not mad, I'm going to have a good day. <laughs> well, you were yeah, yeah, but yeah, time out. Go ahead, Snow. But in that game, that particular block, okay, you ended up having that situation, yeah. and you performed it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. But it wouldn't have happened. Exactly. That wouldn't have happened if we didn't experience that little a, that a little good yeah. motivational yeah. corrective criticism. Correct. <laughs> Who doesn't like some good corrective criticism? Exactly. Like, I think I was more afraid of him kicking my ass in the middle of the game than I was getting yelled at by Stout. So <laughs> that might have been the motivation there. Well, you've been quickly a, a, a favorite of the room, very fast. Um, not just because of your play on the field, but as a person. Uh, your personality is everybody's being uh, witness to right now. You're about to be best man at our left tackle's wedding. But groom's, going up groom's man, groomsman, 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 just a groomsman. groomsman. Just groomsman? Yeah. Oh, my bad, sorry. He's got brothers, I understand that. They've been yeah. there for, right. you know, well, a couple still decades up there. more. You've only yes. known him for a couple years. He so was still... my best man. We'll clarify that. Uh, I don't have, I'm an only child. That's why. Yeah, I don't know. How has that relationship evolved? 
You know, Jordan, he's a pretty shitty person. Uh, <laughs> not a big fan of him. I just got stuck beside of him. But, I mean, all jokes aside, I mean, uh, we're, we're kind of like two peas in a pod. And, you know, it's been great playing beside him and seeing him grow. Obviously, he came from rugby, and he's still got a lot to learn about football. He didn't grow up with it he, down in Australia. So... But, um, you know, being beside him, it's been great. I mean, he's, he's been like a brother to me. And being an only child, that's something I've always wanted. So, And, and I've always been there for him. And, I mean, I, he's, he's just like family to me. So, super excited for him. He's getting married uh, July 1st. Let's go, Jordy. Week, so, you know, congrats to him. Congrats to Nikki. And looking forward to drinking a lot more there, too. So, well, let's yeah. go. We're just going to keep it rolling. Oh, yeah. Just, what, um... What was your welcome to the NFL moment? Welcome to the NFL I already, moment. I know what it you is. You know what it is. It was we, the very first play. Yes, it, <laughs> I, all right, so very first play, and the only bad part was it gets replayed on our it TVs ended up being throughout a really the good facility. Play. So I think we threw we threw a ball to Quez Watkins. He went like 80-something yards, the longest throw and receive without a touchdown, I think, all year. Yep. So we were backed up, I think, on like the one-yard line. And first play, it was after – Brandon got hurt. I came in. I was like, I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. So I just went back there. I tried to do what I thought was right. I ended up getting just pressed and thrown into the ground. My ass cheeks are probably imprinted in the end zone still. <laughs> this is your first play. First, first, first snap. play. God first damn. snap. And Jalen Hurts just throws a bomb to Quez. He runs it like 85 yards down the field. And I'm like shit and then i come back in the next monday and all i see is the, the highlight reel of that role and luckily it cuts off right before i get put on my ass <laughs> but that was definitely uh welcome to the nfl that go, was baby. my favorite memory <laughs> so least, that it, so that everybody else knows how that play. works every time like we install every situation at least twice a year and backed up is a situation that'll always get talked about um in training camp and what we just did through otas and every time we install it since then, they show that play because it's such a good play for the team. So you never want to have a terrible play on one of the best plays because you're going to have to relive it. Yeah. Luckily, though, every time we install a uh, counter, uh, inside zone, they got a lot of good plays. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ups and downs there. There's more ups than downs, so sure. I'm, I'm happy for that. But still, it's uh, me and Jordan sit beside each other in the team meeting, and as soon as we still see that you uh, know still exactly. picture come up, he grabs my hand. He's like, I got you. It's all right. I try not to relive that moment too much. but It was funny because what Stout said, your biggest jump from year one to year two, that play is kind of like a testament to – you're high, hands outside. I mean, you're just coming off yep. knee surgery. Yeah. Struggling to bend down a little bit. And half so, a knee. Go figure. Like you, you, knee, you bend your knees better and you put your hands inside. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stout, what, do, do you have a welcome to the NFL moment as a coach? What was your welcome to the NFL moment? You really want to go here? Yeah. Uh, do I? Now that you just replied with that, yes. Go there. Well, the way the Novacare is set up, there's two fields and we rotate them after they – we wear, wear them out a little bit. Yeah. They kind of cross them. You, you remember all that. Mm -hmm. So we were, the, the, the fields were uh, perpendicular to the Broad Street. And uh, something happened crazy. I don't even remember what happened. But Jason got very upset and ripped his helmet off. Noticing a trend. And let it go. Just sitting on the field. He threw his helmet. I've got one of these stories too. Wait, wait, which instance of this? There's. I feel like I've had you ten were, since I've been here. So. No, 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 no. You've never seen anything like this. <laughs> this, was, this was. Wow. This is young. Really interesting. <laughs> Makes you think like he could be in the Olympics for shot put or something like discus. Little discus. There we go. There was a spin on it too. I mean, the I, wrong I've sport. seen that helmet fly fifty yards onto the sideline. You almost hit Ferrari that one day, John Ferrari. That was that was an impressive one. On it, I was. I, it just kept going and that. going. I, I, I was, haven't actually seen that. Something, since. something about Maybe a helmet throw. It, it's I, just electric. Gets the people going. Was it warranted or was he being a big baby? I don't even remember what the word. I don't remember. There's been too many instances. <laughs> they're, they're all just running together. Has, has it ever been I, like two? Jason's think, taking I it actually, way out of control. Yeah, you know how you you know how like sometimes if you're 
coming back and you know you slice them at. Slice. Oh yeah, the back you know, line. You do that block all the time. Yeah. You watch that block all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes someone hits your elbow and you hyperextend it. It was mm. I think it was one of those deals. Where, oh, where he was just where pissed. Friend, somebody fire, you know, got a hold of him and and hyperextend that. That's a pain in the ass. That's yeah. frustrating. Yeah. I think something like that happened. Well, well, we're gonna watch some balls fly here in the second round. Everybody. Landon Dickerson, Coach Jeff Stoutland. Right. We're coming back with it. Let's get back to the beer bowl. Contestants, I hope you guys have been lathered up. We're about to have some fun. Welcome back to the new Hack Beer Bowl. Moving on to round two, we got eight lucky contestants. I say it's lucky, but it was a little bit of talent. All right, guys, you want to explain what this game is they're going to be playing? All right, for round two, we are getting to a uh, classic in the University of Cincinnati, and certainly one I think that a lot of people played, Beer Ball. Show of hands, who all has played Beer Ball? There we go. So oh, not a high, we're going to do, instead of putting the, the cans East at the corners of the table, we're going to put them right next to each other to encourage a lot of striking of the can and get these games moving. Basically, the premise is you and your partner working together. The part, one, when your partner is throwing, if the ping pong ball hits the can, your partner starts drinking his beer until the other team retrieves the ball, puts it back on the table, and says, stop, then you must stop drinking. Our referees will ensure that stopping happens right when that happens. If it is a late stoppage, there will be penalty drinks awarded to the opposing team. Mm. You continue to go back and forth until both cans have been completely finished by one team and a winner has been uh, found. There's a lot of action, so if you are anywhere close to the table, be ready for ping pong balls flying. If you can, direct the balls back towards the table to ensure that we can have this game moving along. Or if you don't like the fucking team, kick it further. <laughs> Again, these next two contestants from round one, we got catching Kelsey OnlyFans. They are the only fans I've ever seen. The only fans of catching Kelsey. You guys like it. fucking dog shit TV. And then the rodeo boozer. No opening the cans until contact has been made. That's a hit! Oh, man, time, time, time! Time, time, time! Three second drink on my word, go. Three second, oh, 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 oh. Three second, Three second. you can chug a beer in like two. That's a lot. Exactly. Go! One, two, three! Stop! Here we go. Stop, Stop. it! That's gotta be it, right? Winner! We'll see you boys next round. Congratulations. You got terrible fucking taste in TV, but man, you are electric in this game. Oh, that's a good one. That's it. Contestants from round one. Let's welcome Fire and Ice back to the table. Yeah. Chaz Michael Michaels and Jimmy McElroy back on stage with those out. fantastic leotards. Energizing, Man, energizing. They Just good. so elegant. Are Have they you guys on? actually ice skated before? Yes. Yes? I'm yeah. really bad at ice skating. <laughs> All right, let's bring to the let's bring to the table Parents Night Out for yeah. round one. where the fuck the kids are. Not our problem right now. <laughs> yep, that's right. Everyone knows the rules. Jimmy McElroy is going to go first. Let's get it going. Let's see if Chaz is ready to open his beer the moment right. he touches the tour. Cutting! Oh, that's it's a open. great good throw. Hit. Stop. 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 That's, that's a good, good that's fucking a, that's start right play. there. All righty. Sean, is he ready to go? Good hit. Stop. Oh, no. Come on. They got it oh. open. They got it open. They got it open. That's a start. His form is impeccable. No hit. Oh, None he's, he's ice this. cold right now. He throws. is ice cold. <laughs> no Ooh. hit. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Wow. Wow. 
that hit the top. Hit. That hit the top. That was it pretty did. electric. It's a bounce shot. Oh, Those are the bounce shot lacrosse style. All right. What is it? Oh! Stop! Here we go. Jimmy's eyeing it down. And it connects! Stop! Good hustle. Good we got hustle. some good hustle. There's nothing better than hustling. It's a good hit! Stop! Done. That's Done. down. Oh, I'm one down. Chaz is right fired up. He's Let's fired see if Jimmy up. can connect. Let's see if he can he connect. Connect. Oh, oh gosh, that's oh, it. That's a great what a hit. shot. That's what a great a shot. hit. What a uh, shot. Game fired ice. I'll tell you Man, what, Jimmy, what Jimmy game. was, he started out ice cold, ironically, but he was fucking electric around that thing. Fire and ice, we'll see you guys next round. Fire and ice, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Man, it's oh, night man. out. Oh. What are we thinking here? What happened? What went wrong? Really no, that was honestly, that was honestly, a good bout. That was, was a good some bout. of the best defense I've seen in a beer ball game. Thank you for having us. We appreciate the foundation. We had a child with autism, so yep. we love this. Yeah. yeah. We are here for the real reasons, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. One more time for Paris Night Out, everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and we're back to the action just like that. Bringing back from the first round, two years of varsity. Yeah! Chop has been all business from the moment he He's stepped through around the door today. I wear my sunglasses the best for Polly throwback, Kelly Green. And their challengers for this round, the second round in the competition, facing off against them with beer ball, is going to be Team Big Dick Nick! The most iconic. Shaft in Philadelphia's history. Well, let's get it on. Chomp's gonna start it off. Oh, oh, he connects. Oh no. All right, let's see if this large phallic individual can nail. No, oh, hit. it's a miss. That's where you want to hit. Pass. Hit on that top if you can. No hit. That's an air ball. Has he hit the cup yet? Wow. Chooch means idiot in Italian. Chooch. Right, well, right. What is jabroni mean in Italian? That's a hit. That's a hit. Gosh, BDN yeah. just laid the pipe on that car. I'll tell you what, sometimes that thing can get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That's his third air ball. Can we hit the Chooch fucking can? Chooch is ice cold. <laughs> Come on, Chooch. Come on, Beth. Uh, ah, it's, it's all, all you, Chooch. It's all you, baby. You all, nowhere oh. to go but up from here. Stop. Chop is officially cracked. What the fuck kind of technique was that? He just... <laughs> Dude, he just, I think he, just did. he just put his thumb in that thing. Stop! Chop stepping right there. there. That's why he's over Cincinnati. He's got a wide open airway. He's going down this quick. Oh, Look boy. at him go! Stop. Oh, he's almost done. I'm telling you. So just much like hearts in that thing. Super Bowl. So no, much. Oh, how much God. hearts in there? So consistent. Oh, oh. Chooch gets it. Stop. Is that over? Uh, Is that done? Is that done, Ferno? It's done. And we have a winner. Two years varsity is Class moving acts on right there. into Class the acts right there. God damn it, I wish Nick Foles was here. You guys stole the show with your costumes. What is your favorite thing about Nick Foles? Is it inappropriate to say his big dick? Oh. Uh, you, can, you can appreciate that. I don't think you're alone in that. Let's keep this fucking show rolling. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, from the first round, gym class heroes. Everyone's favorite physical education teachers, lifeguards, and U.S. Army veteran Joe you... is bringing the heat. Let's bring back the Hebrews Hello. from the first round. The chosen ones. <laughs> Your favorite beer chugging Jews. Okay, here we go. Here we... Gym class heroes, it's up. That's good, good defense, That's good, good defense, good defense, good defense, good defense. Oh, that hit, that hit, that hit, that hit. That's a great hit. Stop. Oh. Wow. Let's see. Stop. Ooh. Oh, that's an electric hit. Stop. All right. And the gym class heroes and the windup. The no look, he and Deki Matsui is in and throws a fucking air ball. Dirt ball. Yeah, no, I know how that feels. I did that on national television. <laughs> I know how that feels. Done. We got one done. Down to one to one. one. This is electric. Holy 
For too long penalty. We might need to go into a sudden death here. All right, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Sudden death. No, 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 no. You're the boss. So Hebrews is done with their beers. If you can finish whatever is left in that in one second, you get one second. If it's out, we're gonna go to sudden death. If you can't finish it in one second, we're, we're you guys are out. Go. One. Done. That's it. Done. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is exactly, this is why we came here. <laughs> this is why you showed up, ladies and gentlemen. This is very stressful for me. Got a boy fur dog, I love you for this. All right, well, yeah, back to the fucking world's right, longest game. Here we go. We need to read here too. The Hebrews The are Hebrews in. take you to the next round. Hebrews. Gym class heroes, man, I'll tell you what, you guys were fan favorites right here, baby. All right, Hebrews, congratulations on getting to the semis. Congrats, Hebrews. Gym yeah, what'd you think? What happened in beer ball? You're so close. When you got a party that can't shine, you know, words of the late great Lil Flip, it's getting <laughs> over. Yeah, yeah. Way to show up and show up, baby. The next round is a version of quarters. Our first matchup is going to be against Team Fire and Ice. Oh, bring the boys back. Kelsey only fans. Let's keep this thing going, baby. Is everyone aware of the rules of these of this game? You have 90 seconds to try and bounce quarters into your cup. You have to drink a full beer in that 90 seconds for your quarters to count. 90? You have 90 to drink seconds. a beer. I would chug you right away and just start playing quarters. Hey, don't give away fucking tactic, Jason. That's, that's my up to strategy, them. but teach your own. At the end of the uh, 90 seconds, we'll count up. Whichever team has more quarters and has finished their beer, will uh, will advance. Again, your score does not count unless you chug the beer. The beer must Do be empty. Do not forget to chug the beer. Three seconds. All right. All right. And, and they're off. Oh my goodness. Oh, Who's going to be the first to finish? They go with Jason's tactic Chelsea of chugging the, first the beer two first. Two quarters. It is a hard table. Oh my goodness, Ooh, this is gonna I be, we might not get a anything. single quarter. We might not get a single quarter in a cup. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you bounce it, oh, what's in? I see one. We have one quarter in one cup. That's all I've seen. We have one minute left. One minute I'm is I'm seeing better oh, bounces from catching Kelsey's on the fans. I'm seeing good bounces over there. It is difficult. We are now at 30 seconds. 30 seconds, seconds and counting. 30 and seconds left. One quarter in a fucking it, it cup. Can be, Let's go. It could be anybody's game. I have no idea if Fire Nice has made one. I've seen we no. have 20 seconds. 20 seconds right. and counting. 15. Oh, no. Let's see. Oh, Let's no. see. We are at 10. I am nine, nine, eight, just eight, He's in seven, a Trash six, Michael Michael is in a rhythm. Five, four, oh, my three, three, two, two one. Quarter. All righty. Start the count with Chaz Michael Michael. Chaz Michael Michael got on a rhythm there towards Trash the end. Like, we got, we got more, you can't see us. Okay. <laughs> we can't see. Don't let Jimmy slide. Jimmy got on a rhythm too. Jimmy, I can't see Jimmy. I can only see Chaz. I can see you, Jason. Catch and kill the only fans was getting in a rhythm too. Team Fire. 
Don't tell me it's time. We are far from a time. Fire and ice, 13 quarters. We have Team Hebrews! And they're going to be going up against a viral sensation, Team Chop and Chooch. Two years varsity. Two years varsity. I'll tell you what, Chop and Chooch have been very formidable, but so have the Hebrews. When you get to this stage, everyone is in. Let's go! Go! Here we go, here we go. Who's gonna oh, be the first to the corner? Oh, we got a Who's lot of beer spillage. We got Chomp a lot of beer is spillage. first to the beer. All right, all right. Anybody's game. Man, there are a lot of- Team Hebrew has won. A lot of clanks going on right now. A lot of clanks. You gotta try and hit clank, it flat, clank, right? Clank, clank, clank. Right on that flat part. They're flat. One minute. Do people even use quarters outside of, at a cash bar like this? Clearly no, because we only got one fucking mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's in, Chuck. Ooh, Ooh, I see you, Chuck. Chop is in. And now we are down to 30 seconds. 30 seconds, Who's boys. Oh, Chop oh, is in. Oh, one. Chop is getting on a roll. He is so focused right now, I can't even explain this. You would think the Hebrews are good with money. Hebrews, I, I know they have some in. It's hard Help to tell. Down, fans. Ten, it is hard nine, to tell. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. It's gonna be close. I'm not oh, sure. Oh boy. Let's see what the count says. Either way, both of these teams should be proud. Chopping They've made it thus far. It's kind of embarrassing. Is it? It's not gonna be good. It wasn't good. That wasn't your best effort. It's anybody's guess. It's anybody's game. Gosh, the suspense. I don't know if it's because I have to pee right now or what is causing And by a one quarter advantage to my left. No sorry, it's needed. It was a valid effort, man. So, as long as my words on the quarter. I'm two years junior varsity. I think that was the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you guys put up a great effort. Um, made it all the way here. Uh, great energy. Thank you so much for competing in Beer Bowl. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll see you guys after the show. Great job, fellas. Thanks for having us. Thanks for sponsoring us. Ben, go Birds, baby. Go, go Birds, baby. Go Birds. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the final fucking round. Oh! Of the New Heights Beer Bowl. Two years varsity of fire and ice. Why don't you make your way up here, Come on baby? out here, guys. This one's for all This the is marks. for all the... Let's talk about what these guys are going to do with this fucking money. Yeah, I, I'm very curious. Fire and ice, you said that Mike is going to Oktoberfest in Munich this year if he wins. And mark a trip to Europe with the girlfriend to pay off student debt as well. And together, they're going to go to Arrowhead to watch the Eagles play the Chiefs this year. That's going to be an epic, epic bout. Hopefully as epic as this fucking matchup we got right here. Be careful. I don't know how sturdy those are. They are uh, very cheap on Amazon. In case anyone was wondering, you can get these on Amazon. Two years varsity electing to have Chooch on the helmet. Chomp on the beer, Fire and Ice electing to go Jimmy McElroy in the helmet. Chomp said that he will help put a down payment on a house with his girlfriend and stepson and Chooch buy a sweet ghillie suit for hunting. All right now. All right. We got this beautiful golden fucking New Heights cup. What's the most money you guys have ever chugged a beer for? Three. Three bucks, we got three dollars. The rules are, we're gonna start with the stein. Once 
we have set go. You're allowed to take the beer off of the table and start chugging. Once the first person is done chugging, the person in the helmet will get a signal from the official to start chugging out of the straw. The first team to finish all of the beer in both of the helmet and the stein will be the winner. I just saw Jason Kelsey chug this stein in literally three seconds earlier today. He'd be some big old skis in there. But yeah. I would advise maybe not going as fast. All right, well, we're going Stein and then <laughs> we're going Helmet. That's for 50 grand. Turn on. Take, bring us home, baby. On the whistle. Are you ready? Set. Go. No spillage. No spillage. No more spillage. Oh my gosh, it's so aggressive. No spillage. No spillage. It is so much. Oh, he's trying to light us out. Like they're both. All, all right, right. We gotta start. Right. We gotta start. Damn it, we didn't think I'm about sorry. this. I'm sorry. This is this is what we get for getting them off Amazon. We tried to be cute. We tried to be cute. We gotta figure this out. Are you guys comfortable with one full beer each chunk off? Yeah, for the for the helmets. For the helmets. One each for each team. All four. So all four, you guys chug one beer. You guys, you guys. Get Yeah, we should have tested them. We should have known. We should have tested them. A lot of movie parts. Put We're it down. We're gonna do a turn the cup upside down. All right. Classic style. Uh oh, fire my switching up a little bit. Here we go. Inside guys on my whistle. Good luck to both teams. Oh, it's a lot of porridge. A lot of porridge. A lot of excitement here. To chug that much, Chaz, you chug an entire stein. You went back. You went back. Then I went back inside the sink. I mean, I chugged another cup. You did. And you always been able to drink that much beer. I've been drinking beer for for a long, long time. I've always been one to chug first and ask questions later. So I'm always ready. Has it ever been like this? Not quite like this. I had a good best man speech for my brother, but that was like the closest I got. That's awesome. That's awesome. Jimmy, what are you what are you feeling right now? I'm pumped up, man. We uh we freaking put on a show today. Yeah. 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 Thank everybody here for coming out. This is a great freaking time. And I got one thing to let you guys know. If you can dream it, you can do it, baby. Why you are baby? This guy's legendary. What is going to bring us home, dude? Fellas, I think I think that wraps it up. That's the end of the show. That is Circus. <laughs> Hold together, we love all you guys.
Until next time, peace!